Okay, so I'm really excited about this one. This is the Yelp products insights and knowledge video series. In this video, we are going to be going CPC advertising or cost per click advertising. When Yelp started, uh, they started selling ads as well as the enhanced profile. Those were the two strong core products that they offered for numerous years. It's only been the last couple years that they started offering the other enhancements such as verified license, business highlights, portfolios, and logos. Logos being the newest addition to the enhancements that they offer. When it comes to CPC advertising, this is where so many business owners get frustrated. They say Yelp doesn't work. I paid for Yelp advertising and I didn't get anything. All of the same complaints that we've all heard. And this is why I wanted to bring this video series to you. So that way you would fully be able to understand what you're paying for. Because as a business owner, you really need to understand what is being spent on your business, how you are doing it. And from that point, if the enhancement makes sense. And finally, does the cost per click advertising make sense? Because that's what's really going to give you the most exposure. It is crucial to have your profile dialed in and then from that point layer on other enhancements as we talked about in the previous videos. Cost per click advertising is crazy because it's a slippery slope where you can lose a lot really quickly if you are not structured well. And this is why I, I, I just, I really want you to be successful. I really do. Because if you're generating more revenue, then you can really look at the asset that you have, which is your business. And as I mentioned previously, as an advisor with Trans World Business Advisors, we help people sell their businesses and help people buy business. The whole thing is, is when you look at your business as a true asset and not as your baby, look at it in a way where, okay, generating this revenue, now let's sell this for the best price possible. So then that way a new buyer can come in and really just with new lifeblood, take the business to the next level. Let's get started on this so that way you can be as successful as possible. I had to get through the other stuff so that way I can bring you this. When you talk about exposure, it's it's all about how people are seeing you. And that's what Yelp cost per click advertising is. This is one that gets people mad, but there are 10 advertisers displayed before organic results. And this is why you really wanna make sure that you're considering the other enhancements as well as the cost per click advertising. You can choose a daily budget. At times there are special promotions bundled into pricing where you might be able to get the enhanced profile for free or the business highlights for free or everything for free if you're paying above a certain threshold. Talk that over with your Yelp advertising partner, which it's a great program. And if you need a recommendation, go ahead and reach out to us or leave a comment below. And we will definitely see about getting you dialed in, started um, with a very reputable company that can help you with that. And then from that point, advertisement, like it says, is displayed above the organic results. And there's numerous options to set up advertising for maximum deliverability. Now, this video series, let me touch on this last point. Best results are from a long-term campaign as the AI needs three months to know how to best deliver advertising to the right people. So I want to say that that bottom statement is so huge because the AI, which is the most, one of the most advanced AIs that are, that are out there, it knows where to place your ad when to place your ad so then that way your ad can possibly get clicked so again this this video series is just an overview on the cost per click advertising all of that was to really get to this point right here is that there is a big distinct difference between marketing and strategy how you enter the market how you are in the market is definitely a combination of how you're utilizing strategy with your marketing to bring more people into your business. Yelp used to have an, a, a product called impressions where they would just show your ad. Well, now it's moved more into a cost per click scenario like other platforms. So for the business owner who wants to reach more customers and get more business through Yelp, because it really is a blue ocean out there. There is so much opportunity. People are searching. And if you're new on Yelp, 
do not be scared just jump in there is a way for you to dominate your area and people are looking for you it just i mean you may have a counterpart who has more reviews but they may not be available or they may be across town or somebody may just not like them so it's a way for you to promote your business in key areas across the site and on the mobile app above organic search results as well as on competitors business pages remember enhanced profile restrict competitor ads that's what i'm talking about this brings people back to your yelp business page where they can learn more and ultimately make a decision to contact you here's another key point yelp customers have a strong intent to buy 97 percent of people make a decision or a purchase after visiting a yelp page so if someone is searching Yelp in your city for your type of business, you want to show up prominently as a possible candidate because 10 other ads are being shown before the organic results. With that being said, where it says that Yelp customers have a strong intent to buy, Google is where people go and it's kind of like an encyclopedia. It's really more so for knowledge. And you will notice that a Yelp listing is directly below whatever type of service industry you're looking for. So yes, you have Google and from that point they're showing local search, but right below that in the organic stuff, they are showing the Yelp top 10, top 10 plumbers, top 10 dentists in the area if you're looking for that. As well as if you're looking for a specific business, a lot of times the Yelp page shows up prominently either the first or the second um, listing on Google. So again, Yelp is huge for your, your business. And if you haven't yet, I recommend that you watch the video I did on who uses Yelp and how they use it. Um, it, it, it goes over a lot of the information that a lot of people aren't aware of how important Yelp is and where it's used. Um, I designed that to be somewhat of like a marketing presentation as well. So all of you corporations, all of you franchisors, multi-location, single location, I want everybody to be as knowledgeable as possible on the Yelp platform. To touch on the other big guy in the, in the industry, Facebook, Instagram, well, that's more of social. And anytime somebody does see your information on Facebook or Instagram, they're probably going to check you out on Yelp as well because... Yelp has been around just as long as Facebook. Facts. Both started in 2004. Some people just play, choose to play the game differently. One of the benefits is, is with your Yelp ads, is you can pause or cancel at any time. But again, like I mentioned, you really want to, for your first run, you want to kind of let it run for about three months. So if you're considering starting Yelp ads, you want to make sure that you have that budgeted in. So there's multiple options for control, whether you want to just set it and forget it, or you prefer to turn your campaign on and off throughout the year, the choice and the flexibility is yours. Note that there are no term contracts, so you're never locked into um, running your ads for a specific amount of time, and that's directly from Yelp. All, Yelp also launched the new one-click restart feature after pausing ads, especially from the pandemic situation where so many people needed to, you know, stop. Business essentially just stopped for so many people. And so Yelp wants it to be as easy as possible for you to get started a lot of times with your settings being saved. So the last point on this is this means your previous advertising, like I just mentioned, are automatically saved and you can start right back up with one click, but always, always, always reconfirm your settings. Okay. Never trust AI without double checking it as well as your marketing team or whoever's working with you as your media buyer. You want to make sure that you're double checking what they're doing. Okay. Make sure that you're monitoring. Um, also in our course, the Yelp opening reopening guide, we go through on how to look at your views and your leads and your insights. Make sure that you get into your Yelp for business owners and start looking at your leads, your views and your insights. You wanna know where you're starting, so then that way you know where you're going. You wanna make sure that you're able to hold accountable the people that are doing media buying for you, so then that way they're really utilizing your ad spend and your budget. And again, you're not going to trick the system. 
trust me, I was a Yelp advertising partner for four years before I decided to work specifically as a consultant, as well as a trans world business advisors where we help people buy and sell businesses. So essentially I'm taking all of my knowledge and we're going to the next level. Most people don't realize, but yes, helping people buy and sell businesses is a huge trillion dollar industry because uh, in the next five to 10 years, there is going to be a massive change in ownership of businesses with reportedly, I think baby boomers having about 80% of businesses or small businesses that are out there. Wanna make sure that you're understanding that your business is an asset to grow it as much as possible. Yelp ads offer customized targeting. You can have a custom text as well as a picture. And a lot of times media buyers don't realize this stuff. And so again, this is why you want to make sure you're holding their feet to the fire and asking them specific questions. By customizing your Yelp ads, ensure that you're attracting relevant customers and you highlight your business in the way that it's branded. Again, we talked about logos, we talked about imagery, and there are a couple parts to customizing. Choosing the primary photo, you know, will help people know what they're looking at and selecting the text that shows up on your ad. You can be specific review that praises your business or add your own custom text. Always set ad photos to the company logo created in a square format. I'm gonna say that one more time. Always set your ad photos to the company logo created in a square format. Want, your logo is everywhere. You need to really utilize it with your advertising because that's what brings in the most consumers. That's what the trust is. Somebody may recognize your logo, but not recognize your name. See what I'm saying? You need to be able to help them create that connection. You have targeting and keyword blocking. So with this, the Yelp ads automatically target people who show an interest in a business like yours based on factors like where they are searching, what they are searching for, and what kind of business you're in. Keyword blocking, also known as negative keyword targeting, allows you to remove your business as a search result option for the goods or services that you don't provide. Let's say you're a plumber, but you don't want to do tankless hot water heaters. Well, you can ensure that your Yelp ads are not shown to people who are looking specifically for tankless hot water heaters. Okay, does that make sense? This also allows you to appear for searches that are even more relevant and avoid receiving inquiries that don't match your business offering. Like the example that I just gave you. Um, let's say that you want organic lunch you don't offer organic lunch. So maybe you can take that off and you're not shown. So then that way someone doesn't show up and say, oh, well, I was looking for organic options. We don't have those, sorry. And then they're frustrated. This is an example of what the Yelp ads customized targeting keywords looks like. So from this point, you can see that there are some keywords listed here, as well as keywords that are removed. And so you can go in there and it will also give you a barometer as to whether or not you're limited or you're, you're positioned right. So this is what you should be looking for in your Yelp ads setting. Next, we're going to talk about for the customized targeting location based. It allows you to determine how far away you want to show your ads. Let's say you're in a dense metropolitan area and you only want to serve those people in a few blocks or in a region. Or if you're like living in New York City, you don't want to travel across town because it's going to take you an hour to go and service somebody and you want to, you know, take care of those people in your local neighborhood, kind of like Spider-Man does. <laughs> so this allows you to geo-target your ad to be displayed in the radius of your choice around your business, allowing you to better target your audience. audience radius options vary per business category. Some businesses serve larger areas and want to cast a wide net, while others focus on customers very close to their business location. Now, when you work with a Yelp advertising partner, you're able to do zip code targeting as well. And if your profile offers it, you may be able to do zip code targeting. And if you are, I highly recommend that because then you can really isolate your ads for where you want them shown. This is an example of what it looks like to have your um, customized ad targeting in a region. So if you look at it right here, you, you see that it's a pretty big area, 25 miles wide. You know, you got Barstow over here and Needles. 
the ad is not going to be shown in these areas. It's only going to be shown in this circle radius part right here. So again, this is a factor that you want to uh, look at. And this is something that you want to ensure that your media buyers are focusing on as well as your Yelp advertising partners. As a business owner, you need to make sure that you're holding these people accountable for how they're launching and selling your advertising, okay? And it's something that you can do yourself. So this is why I am building this video series for the solopreneur all the way up to the corporation. So then that way you guys know, and when I say corporation, I mean multi-location, nationwide, global, because Starbucks, when you're ready, let's have a conversation. Your guys' Yelp profiles are hurting. Whew. <laughs> um, but let's stay focused. The, the whole point is, is that I would like to see as many business owners understand this information as much as possible because the Yelp platform really is powerful for your business. So some final thoughts. You really need to give it time to develop. Like all investments of value, a successful campaign takes time. First, the campaign is working to make you more discoverable, which will bring you in more leads. From there, as you convert those leads into customers, a cycle begins. You get exposure, then you get customer acquisition, then you retain those customers, and then repeat. Because just because somebody finds you once on Yelp, there are so many people that bookmark business pages. And from that point, they have so much going on in their world that you feel like they're going to remember you, but they're not. People don't. People do. Not. I did it for seven years in home service, I'm showing up. Hi, my name's Ralph. I'm here to clean the dog pee out of your carpet. Like that's pretty humbling going from U.S. Navy <laughs> working with cruise missiles and admirals to hi, I'm here to clean the dog pee out of your carpet. But it's what I had to do for my family and I was a franchisee and it was a great training ground for me to learn how to engage with people and how people are actually looking for services in the community. So again, you want to make sure you keep your Yelp profile up to date as much as possible. And the longer you let the program work for you, the more success you will have. And I will note that you want to make sure that you are logo branding everything place your logo as your very first Yelp ad photo, you will see exponential growth. I promise you, it is what I did when I was a Yelp advertising partner. We instantly saw massive results from the way that that was working. And furthermore, I'm not going to confirm nor deny this and neither will Yelp, but during my time, I did have six case studies written about me for Yelp and my efforts with my clients. And one of the very first things that we did was place the logo as the ad photo. And it worked. It worked for me as a business owner when I had OxyFresh of Modesto, as well as with the clients that I served, one of which was a $30 million a year um, plumbing, heating, and air company. And that is what brought in the most results, as well as for attorneys, fitness, uh, wellness industry, uh, you know, service providers, restaurants. It's what it's all about. It's all about showcasing and highlighting that logo. I was going to say about that is that during my tenure, Yelp actually mm -hmm. did create the logo product. Use that how you will, but please. If you just watch this video series, I hope that you take to heart everything that I have given you. This is from my four years as a Yelp advertising partner, as well as my over 12 years of studying the platform. This has been Ralph Carrasco, founder of Carrasco Consulting, and I hope that you've enjoyed this information. And if you are a business owner in California and you would like to have a conversation, about how we can help you transition your business. Or furthermore, if wherever you are in the United States, we are able, Transworld Business Advisors is able to help find you an advisor who can help structure your business to get into the market to hopefully find a new buyer. And as I've said in the previous videos, the whole point is to ensure that you are providing as much exposure as possible to help 
people determine that you are the obvious choice. Again, this has been Ralph Carrasco with Carrasco Consulting and keep it funky, earthlings.